Mexico. This mechanism is the crank and slider. The crank and slider is composed of our powered hand crank that get, powers the mechanism to our crank, which is this shaped, uh, comma shaped item over here that has distance between uh, the axle and the end here, transferring over to our slider, which slides up and down a rack, or a rail, excuse me. This is the motion of the crank and slider. Let's talk through this mechanism. Let's talk, start with the relationship or the angle of the input shaft to the output. You'll notice that they move at a 90 degree angle. So they are perpendicular to each other. Now let's talk about the type of movement. The input movement is rotary. The output movement goes back and forth, making it reciprocating. So how far, so how far does the slider move compared to the crank? The slider will move, the distance that this will move is the same as the distance from the axle to the end of the crank. Notice that the distance from here to here is the diameter, thank you, is the diameter, and that diameter is the distance over here that the slider will move. So if I say that that's my diameter right there, this is how far the slider will move. So the, how far does the slider move with each revolution of the crank? It will move the diameter of the crank, just to clarify. Now, if the diameter of the crank were to increase, we're gonna make that longer and bring it out even further, that would make the diameter larger, what would happen to the movement on the slider? It would make it longer or larger. It would make the movement here larger. If we made this smaller, the movements here would be shorter and smaller. Is the flow of power reversible? Can I make the input move by sliding this? On this mechanism as small parts, I can kind of make it move, but this would operate a train, like an old locomotive, and that's pretty powerful, and there's no way I'm gonna walk up to the wheel of a locomotive and make that whole thing move. So the answer to that is no. The flow of power is not reversible. This is the crank and slider.